I'm Noah from American Trucks, and today let's check out this Barricade CSD front bumper for the 18 to 20 F-150, excluding the Raptor. Now this bumper is a slim and low profile add-on to the factory bumper, so it's really going to appeal to the F-150 owner who's looking for some more rigidity and protection to the front end of their truck without committing to a massive aftermarket front bumper. So like I said before, this guy goes right on top of the factory bumper, and it's just about as low profile as you can get while still maintaining strength. Now it does look pretty awesome as well and adds some more aggressive styling to the front of the truck. Now this bumper doesn't require any welding for the installation either, it's just bolt on, which is a huge bonus in my opinion. Now this add-on isn't quite as rugged as a full bumper, but it will still help with protecting your front end, and it's really going to aid you on the daily drive as well, especially if you live in deer country. One more thing to note about this guy is that it does look great on a lightly modified or stock truck. It doesn't need to be heavily modified to fit in with the rest of the vehicle. So as far as construction goes, we are looking at steel all around, of course. And this steel is cold formed, so the temper of the metal isn't lost in heating the steel. Everything is coated with a two-stage finish with an epoxy pre-coat base and then a textured black powder coat for maximum protection. Overall, it will serve its purpose to be extremely durable and keep the front end of your truck intact. Coming in at $400, the biggest perk of a small add-on to the existing bumper starts to shine. Now, this guy is much cheaper than other more robust options that are out there. And I'd even go out on a limb to say that this investment could save you probably double what the bumper cost itself in just damage and what that could cost in terms of paint and bodywork. Installing this bumper is going to be a nice and simple job. We're looking at an install time of only about two hours and a difficulty right at one out of three wrenches. You should be just fine getting this on yourself, but if you don't have tools or just don't have time, you can use our install connect function right here on the site where we can get you scheduled at a shop local to you and they will do the install so that you don't have to. Installs can definitely be intimidating and there's really no shame in leaving it to the professionals. Now I'm gonna hand you over to one of the guys in the install bay and they'll walk you through the installation process step by step. The tools you'll need for this project are a half inch impact gun, a 3 8 impact gun, and or a half inch drive, a 3 8 drive, and a quarter inch drive ratchet, a 10 millimeter socket, a short 18 millimeter socket, a short 15 millimeter socket, a 15, 18, 21 deep sockets, an 18 millimeter swivel socket, a trim removal tool, a pair of snips, a 16 millimeter ratchet wrench, and a 12 inch extension. Hi everyone, today we're installing a front bumper overlay on our F-150, so let's get started. All right, if by chance you live in a state that requires a front license plate, first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is remove the license plate and the bracket from the front of your bumper. Now, where we live, we don't require a front license plate, so we're gonna skip that step, obviously and just get right to the install. First thing we're gonna to need to do is remove these two bumper pads here and here. And to do that, we're gonna use a trim removal tool to just pop those out. So to remove those, you're gonna take your trim removal tool and just put it in on the edge here and just pry it away and it comes right off. And we'll do the same thing for the other side. Now you can do this whole project on the ground. We've got ours on a lift just to be able to show you some of the steps and some of the things that are behind the front bumper that we can't show you if we've got the vehicle on the ground. So first thing we're gonna do after we get these covers removed is remove these two 21 millimeter bolts here and here on the driver's side. So we're gonna use our 21 millimeter socket to get those off. And once you've got the two nuts off of the front, you're just gonna reach up behind the bumper here and pull this plate out. 
Then we're gonna replace it with the supplied plate with longer bolts on there. Now once you've got the plate in place, we're gonna use these two plastic retainers and just screw them on to the bolts just to hold that in place while we finish the rest of the install on this side. We're gonna put a couple of these spacers on the front of those bolts so that we can mount the bolt bumper to it. We slide our spacers onto the bolt. And now we can mount our front bracket. Now our front bracket, they are side specific, so you need to make sure when you install this that the short L part of the bracket is on the top and the vertical bracket is closer to the inside of the truck. Now we slide the front bracket over the bolts. Now with the bracket in place, we're just gonna go ahead and put in our large flat washer on the bolt and then a lock washer and the 12 millimeter nut. Now we're not gonna tighten these down just yet because we've still got the other side to do. Just make sure that they're finger tight so that it doesn't fall off when we move to the other side. And now you can repeat that whole process for the other side. Now with our front mounting brackets installed, we're gonna go ahead and use our 18 millimeter socket and just snug them up enough to make sure that it's not gonna fall off. and make sure you repeat that for the other side as well. All right, now we're ready to install the lower support brackets for our bumper. And they're gonna go between our tow hook and the bottom of the frame. So to do that, we're gonna have to remove this front bolt here on the tow hook and just loosen up the rear one. And then we'll slide this in, reinstall the original bolt underneath this and our support bracket will be installed. If you don't have tow hooks on your vehicle, the kit does come with these double nut plates that you can insert inside the frame and you'll also have to cut out a section of your lower splash guard. All the instructions for that are included in the kit, but since ours has tow hooks, we're not gonna have to do that. So we're just gonna Remove this front bolt here of the tow hook and loosen the rear one using a 15 millimeter socket. Now you won't be able to use your impact gun behind here because of this splash guard, so we're just gonna use a regular half inch drive socket and ratchet. Now we can go ahead and slide our support bracket in, making sure that when you slide it in, the welded on nuts are facing upwards. And we'll slide that in between the tow hook and the frame and making sure that the slot on the support bracket goes around the nut, the bolt that we left inside. Now we can go ahead and reinsert our front bolt on the tow hook right back where it was at. Keep in mind that it is possible that when you loosen that back bolt that the double nut plate may have shifted. So you may have to just put that back in place so that it's lined up so that we can go ahead and insert our bolt. Now we're just gonna leave that finger tight right now until we actually get the bumper installed. But you can repeat this process for the other side. Now we're ready to go ahead and install our license plate bracket. Now, like I said, our truck doesn't require a front license plate, but we're gonna show you how to install it anyway. We're gonna use two of these six millimeter button head bolts with a lock washer and a flat washer on the front side. We're just gonna insert it into the hole, into the round hole, and then put it onto the bumper. Then we're gonna use a flat washer and a nylock nut on the back side 
to hold it in place. And then just do the same thing on the other side. And like I said, a flat washer on the back side and one of the supplied nylock nuts. And once you've got those in, they do supply you with an Allen, Allen wrench. So you can go ahead and put the Allen wrench on there and then use a 10 millimeter socket to tighten up the nut on the back side. And then we'll just make sure that the other one is tight as well. Now we can install our trim that goes on the edge of the bumper to protect the factory bumper from being damaged. And to do that, we're just gonna start at the bottom and just push the trim onto the bumper. We'll do the same thing for the other side. Like I said, the process is the same. We're just gonna push it on until it stops. Now, yeah, once you've got it on, like I said, it's a little long on both ends. So we'll just go ahead and use a pair of snips and cut the end off. Now we're ready to go ahead and install it on our truck. Now we're actually ready to install the bumper onto the vehicle. And to do that, I've got my friend Alex here to help hold it up in place because it's a little awkward to try and get these brackets in behind the bumper and get the nuts put on as well. So to install this, these brackets that are on the back of the bumper have to go on the inside of the ones that we've already mounted on the truck. So I'm gonna have Alex hold this up in place while I put these double bolt plates through the brackets. So in case you missed it earlier when we installed the double bolt L brackets to get the bumper onto the vehicle, we used a flat washer, a lock washer, and a nut to secure it to the bracket that we already installed. So now we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing for the lower bolt, put on our flat washer, our lock washer, and then our nut. Now we're not tightening these down just yet because we want to get everything assembled and then we'll do the adjustments later. So now that we've got the driver's side done, we can go ahead and do the same thing for the passenger side. Now we can go ahead and connect our bumper to the support bracket that we installed earlier next to the tow hook. To do that, we're gonna use a six millimeter bolt along with a flat washer and a lock washer and the supplied Allen key. So we're just gonna line these holes up on the bracket. And go ahead and insert our bolt. Now there's two on the driver's side and two on the passenger side. So we'll go ahead and finish up the driver's side right now. And again, we're not tightening these down all the way until everything is connected. Now we'll do the same thing for the passenger side. Now that we've got everything connected, granted it is loosely attached right now, but at least everything is connected. Now we can go ahead and start tightening everything down. To do this, we're actually gonna need an extension and an 18 millimeter swivel socket in order to reach the nuts on the two bolts that we attach the bracket to to the truck. 
So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put this on the bolt on the nut first. And then we'll raise the bumper up to where it's supposed to be and then we'll tighten it down. We're starting on the driver's side. Now because of the design of this bumper, it is a little difficult to get to these nuts and bolts. So it's nearly impossible to get the camera in here so you can see it. But the bolt is right up inside here in the corner, which is why I say you need the eight, 18 millimeter swivel socket. So we'll go ahead and put that on. We're gonna raise our bumper up to where it needs to be. And then tighten that bolt down. And we'll do the same thing on the passenger side. Raise your bumper up, use your swivel socket and go ahead and tighten that one up. And then once you get those two done, then you're gonna need a regular ratchet and a short socket to get to the other bolt. All right, so now that we've got our driver's side snugged up pretty well, we can do the same thing on the passenger side. Again, you're gonna need your extension and your swivel socket. Once you get those done, then you can tighten up the other nut. In order to do that, you're gonna to have to go behind the bumper with a regular ratchet and a short socket. And we'll show you that part in just a second. All right, the second nut that we need to tighten up is attached to this bolt right here. Now it's very difficult to get the camera in here to show you the actual nut itself, but this gives you an idea of where we're located on the truck. So with our regular ratchet and a short 18 millimeter socket, we can go ahead and tighten this up. And now we'll do the same thing for the passenger side. Now the bracket on the passenger side is located in the same position on the frame as what the driver's side is. So you shouldn't have any problem finding it and getting your ratchet on there and getting it tightened down. Now that our main bracket is secured to the frame, now we can go ahead and tighten up the nuts to where our bumper overlay attaches to the support brackets that we installed earlier. So to do that, we're just going to make sure that it lines up correctly on the bumper and using a 16 millimeter wrench, and at this point, a ratchet wrench, if you've got it, will be really handy. So now that our main bracket is tightened to the frame, now we can tighten up the bolts where the bumper overlay attaches to the support brackets. To do that, you're gonna need a 16 millimeter wrench preferably a ratchet wrench because it's very tight to get in here. A ratchet wrench will make your life so much easier. So we'll go ahead and make sure that our bumper is lined up correctly and then just tighten down the bolt. Once you've got that one done, then you can move on to the upper bolt. And then do the same procedure for the passenger side. Now using the supplied Allen wrench, we'll go ahead and tighten up the two button bolts on the driver's side on the support bracket. and do the same thing for the passenger side. Now with those tightened up, we can go ahead and tighten up our tow hook bolts using our 15 millimeter socket. Now remember, to tighten up this back bolt, you're gonna to need to use a regular ratchet and a short 15 millimeter socket. And you're gonna to have to access it from the back side. And now do the same thing for the passenger side. Now with all of our brackets tightened down, we can go ahead and install our mesh covers on the front of the bumper using the supplied six millimeter bolts. 
and the Allen head wrench. and repeat that process for the other side. Now we can go ahead and install our light bar brackets. To do that, there's a hole at the bottom of this upper loop right here, and we're gonna use the supplied stainless steel bolts, put it through the hole, put the bracket on it, a flat washer, a lock washer, and the supplied stainless steel nut. Now once again, we're not gonna tighten that down completely yet until we get the other side installed and we get our light bar in it as well. So with that being said, we go ahead and install the bracket for the light bar on the passenger side. And that wraps up our review and install of the Barricade CSD front bumper for the 18 to 20 F-150 excluding Raptor. Thanks for watching and remember, for all things F-150, keep it right here at americantrucks.com.